Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Surprisingly, today Google released a new pixel drop that includes three new features that you see right here in the blog post. So we'll deep dive into them to show you what's new. This video is brought to you by Chat LLM, an all-in-one powerful platform where all top AI models come together in one place. You get access to ChatGPT 04 Mini, GPT 4.1, Gemini 2.5 Pro, Claude Sonnet 4, DeepSeek, Grok 3, and many more. You get all of this for just $10 a month, which is way more affordable than paying for each AI tool separately. You can generate documents and PPTs with deep research, generate images and videos with many different models. You get Code LLM, a VS Code based editor. Deep Agent, which is a powerful general agent that can build websites, apps, AI agents, chatbots, and complete research reports. And you don't need to worry about picking the right model for your prompt, as Route LLM automatically does the job for you. Plus, the humanized feature makes your content sound more human and bypass AI detectors. So go ahead and visit chatllm.apacas.ai or click the link in the description to give it a try. And now let's get back to the video. The features we're going to talk about today are not related to a specific software update that you need to download, but they are more related to Google Apps. So even if your Pixel phone is not running the latest software update, you might get access to them without a problem. So let's take a look at the first new feature. The first change we have here is Veo 3 on Pixel. It says that Pixel 9 Pro owners get a full year of our Google AI Pro subscription at no cost, which is something we already know. And I have my first free year already activated on my 9 Pro XL, but you also get with it the Veo 3 access, which you can use to describe your idea and watch it come to life as a high quality short video complete with natural audio. I already talked about this feature in my Google Apps updates episode number 112. I do have access to Veo 3 when I tap on the video toggle as shown now on the screen. It will allow you to generate an 8 second video with sound. But keep in mind that even if you have a Pixel or an older Pixel model like the Pixel 8 Pro, I still have access to Veo 3 without a problem. So it seems like the device is not the restriction, but you need to sign in with your Google account on one of the eligible devices first to get the offer and then you might be able to use it on your older pixel model without an issue. The second change in this pixel drop is the new circle to search capabilities. It says here, dive deeper and ask follow up questions about anything you see on your screen with AI mode in circle to search available in the US and India. To avoid this JU restriction, I connected myself to a VPN in India to show you how the feature works. So I will start circle to search and highlight this video thumbnail like this and then wait for it to give me the AI overview. As you see here, I have an AI overview that I can listen to if I want. When I tap on show more and scroll down, you will see a new button here called dive deeper in AI mode. And when you tap on it, it will take your query to the AI mode so you can continue asking questions about the same thing using this text box. The second feature added to circle to search is the in-game help. It says here you can find helpful articles and videos time stamped to your exact spot in your mobile game without switching apps. I will test this feature on Tempo Run 2. So I'm going to start a new game and then I will trigger circle to search and highlight this part and see what's going to happen. First, I got the same AI overview that I can show more and dive deeper in AI mode. And exactly as Google said, I'm getting some timestamps in multiple videos to help me with this part of the game. And once I'm done with my search like this, let's say I'm going to play a video. Once I'm done, I can close everything and get back to the game immediately without losing my progress, which is a really nice touch. So that's it with the circle to search. But there is one more improvement related to the AI mode that you can see by tapping on this hyperlink in the article. And when you scroll down, you will see the same features we just covered in circle to search, 
But when you scroll all the way down, you will see another header talking about bigger picture with the upgraded AI overviews. And it says here now you will see that the responses are easier to read, breaking down key information and incorporating more visuals directly in the responses. So you can get even more context right when you need it. And as I showed you in the previous examples, the AI overviews are definitely much better than before. Before jumping to the next chapter, if you like any of the wallpapers you see in this video or any of my previous videos, they are now available in the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app. Plus now you have the ability to download the wallpapers locally on device. So you can apply Android 16 wallpaper effects on them. You will find Google play store download link in the description. And now let's get back to pixel drop. And the last new change in this pixel drop is the availability of Gemini on pixel watch. It says here, get the help you need right on your wrist with our advanced AI models powered by Wear OS. And when you tap on the advanced AI models hyperlink, it will take you to a whole new page explaining exactly how the feature works. As per the article, it's not only about the Pixel Watch, but Samsung, Oppo, OnePlus, and Xiaomi smartwatches will also get access to Gemini. Unfortunately, I didn't get this feature on my Pixel Watch to show you how it works in real life, but when you go through the article, you will find that Gemini will be much more advanced when compared to Google Assistant, as per the examples shared by Google, because you can ask it questions about your emails or calendar events, and it will give you exactly the information you need by connecting to your workspace apps, as shown in this example, which will make it much more useful. You will find even more examples in this article written by text, and here's one more screen recording showing how you can use Gemini to create a playlist in YouTube Music. It says here, create a playlist for a 10 minute mile run and Gemini will get access to YouTube music and create the playlist for you, which is very handy. By this, I'm done with all the new features in this unexpected pixel drop. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you don't need to install any system updates to get access to them, but just make sure your Google apps are up to date and then give it another try. Also keep in mind that some of these features are only available in US and India, so you might need a VPN like in my case to get access to them. So that's pretty much it for today. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.